Here at Tech Travel Geeks, we love video. Hey, we make video. So one of the key ways you usually watch video is through a device connected to a screen, whether that's a monitor or in other cases, a TV. The most used way of connecting TVs and monitors at the moment is a technology called HDMI. Now the downside to that is that it's not really a wireless technology, it still requires wires. We've been sent this review sample of a wireless HDMI setup from Yehua. This is a brand who produce wireless connectivity features for devices. So what we're going to do today is unbox this product and we're going to demonstrate it using a laptop which has an HDMI port and connect it to my TV. So let's start off with my Jerry Rig Everything Knife. As usual, I will use that to cut through the cellophane and the packaging and get into the packet itself. So cellophane off. We can see on the front, you have the wireless HD transmitter and receiver kit in how it is and a few, uh, a few details here. It is capable of carrying 4K video or ultra high definition video. Let's see how it performs once we've set it all up. So the box is nice and simple, cardboard. And then once you open that up, you have a bit of documentation for the kit. You have the hub or the receiver itself. This is what is going to connect to the TV. You have a series of cables, which we'll look at in a bit more detail in a moment. There is also a couple of antennas to enable you to receive the signal and they screw on to the side there. This is a standard RF antenna, similar to what some Wi-Fi routers have. And I'll set the other one up as well. So that's the receiver. There's the transmitter, which will plug into your device. In this case, we're going to be using an HP laptop with an HDMI port. This is the power brick. And there is a set of different power plugs to connect to different regions. So this is a US plug. This is an EU plug. And this is a UK plug. So you've got three different plugs, depending on where you are, what your setup looks like. So this is five volt at two amps. That's a 10 watt charger. So it's not a particularly power hungry device. So I'm going to clip in the UK plug. And to do that, I need to align things and clip. So that's what the charger looks like. And on here we have, let's see, USB type A to USB type C. Always handy. And there's a second USB type A to USB type C cable as well, as well as an HDMI to HDMI cable. So the idea here is that we have the HDMI to HDMI cable will go in the back of the receiver like this. So we have, in this case, this is a VGA out port. There's the HDMI port and there's the power port. There is also a 3.5 millimeter audio connection. So good to see the courage port is not dead. But the key one we'll be testing is HDMI. Whoops. So that plugs in and this end goes into your monitor or to your TV. I'll just set up the power source, which will go into the USB type C port on the receiver. There we go. So that's the bit that goes into the TV. And this is the bit that goes, well, I will put plug into my laptop. And in this case, there is a full HDMI port on the side of my HP laptop. I'll plug that in and that should be it ready to go. So next up, as you can see, this is the powered by the HDMI port itself. Let me just exit this and I will plug the rest into my TV now. There we go. 
Okay then, so here we are. So you may have seen from our footage that we had to mess around with my setup. I didn't use the included HDMI cable. It was a little bit short for my use, my, my needs. But we've plugged in the device to our screen. And as you can see, we're now connected to my television wirelessly from my laptop. So what you see on the screen here is mirrored on the television screen. Now, let's just go through this Windows biometric setup. Yes, I want face unlock. It's a really cool feature of Windows Hello. So let's try by opening Chrome. And in this case, we'll want to maybe check out what's going on on YouTube. Now I have to be very careful here because we don't want a YouTube takedown in case we accidentally show someone else's video. So let's play the video we published yesterday at time of recording of a case for the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now, as you can see, it seems to be running here. So I'll use my TV remote to turn the sound up. This was a and as you can see, this work seems to work fine. I'm mirroring what is on the screen on my laptop on the TV, and it seems to be working with little or no lag. From what it looks like, there's no skipped frames either. So just to put it through its paces, let's change the settings. We're going to change the setting to full high definition and maximize, there you go. So this is doing a pretty decent job. If I turn the volume down on my laptop, it turns down on the TV. So this is a handy way of getting your content on your computer onto the television, whether it's a video, a presentation, or you want to work on that all important spreadsheet. This is a really good way of doing it on your big TV. Now, obviously this will work with projectors as well. HDMI is an open standard that is used by many, many different types of devices. So projectors, screen recorders, any other device will be able to use this wireless transmitter to transmit wirelessly to the TV. Now, the specifications say that it's 4K capable. Let's see if I can, rather than mirror my screen, let's try and mess around with it so that we're extending the screen. So display. So at the moment, multiple displays are set to mirror. So I've got one and two there. Yep, I'm going to extend these displays. Keep these changes. Now I'm going to identify one and two. So my television is number two. And we're going to change this resolution to 4K, which 1680 by 1050. Now that's quad HD. I'm not seeing a 4K option here. So it will go up to 1680. Now that's not even full high definition. 1920. By 1080, so it it may be my laptop and the current settings it has, but it can only go up to full high definition. But the advantage here is that you could say have one thing on one screen, and you could have another thing on your TV. Just to add to this, I've been testing the transmitter as well, and I also didn't have any luck getting 4K image with it. The PS5 was limited to 1080p, but the quality was quite good with no major delays. So you could potentially use it if your TV is also 1080p and for some reason you can't use an HDMI cable. The Amazon Fire TV Cube was also limited to Full HD. I initially struggled with audio, but it turns out I had Dolby Digital selected in the settings and changing it to Best Available fixed the sound, so all good. My desktop PC was also limited to 1080p, despite definitely supporting 4K, so no luck there either. Your mileage may obviously vary, since we've only checked a few devices, but make sure to keep that in mind. 
Also, for most uses, 1080p should be enough. Back to Matteo. So, as far as audio goes, there's little or no lag seen, as we're seeing here in our Pixel 6 Pro review, with lots of cat pictures. Okay then, so I think that overall, that's a pretty comprehensive demo of what the Yihua wireless HD transmitter and receiver kit is capable of. We've demonstrated this with a canonical laptop with an HDMI port. Before purchasing this product, just make sure what you're connecting is capable of full high definition playback and has an HDMI port because that's the two prerequisites of the product itself. Thanks to Yihua for sending us this product for review. And thanks for thinking of Tech Travel Geeks as a brand that covers consumer electronics that in this case would be quite handy at, for example, a conference where you need to connect to a projector. Anyway, we'll wrap up this video now. If you have any further questions about the Yihua wireless HD transmitter and receiver kit, if you would like to know more, leave us a comment in the section below. For now, thanks for watching and goodbye from the Tech Travel Geeks.